What's this? Hans Wormhat can prove that NASA's lying because of sunspots? This is going to be good. So Mr. Arshat thinks sunspots are absolute proof that... Sorry? Did I? Oh, um... Mr. Wormhat believes that sunspots are absolute proof that NASA is lying to us. I wonder what my patrons think about that. Massive thanks to all my patrons, including new patrons Francis Cimenti, William Foley, Alice Vangstrom, John Roswell, Tech Blog, and Pyro Kitty Cat. Also my newest patrons, Claire Johnson, Mr. Victory, and Brian A. Shannon. Thank you all so very much. So come on then, Mr. Wormhat. You better tell us. How do sunspots prove NASA's lying? This is a new one on me. I look forward to seeing it. Of course, it may just be that you're just being a smeghead and not actually understanding reality. But we'll see. Roll VT. Okay, so... One thing about the sun, I have a hard time talking about the sun or talking about the moon without bringing this up. Hands watching your videos normally makes me want to bring something up. This morning, it wasn't even 9 a.m. yet, and I could get a suntan. That's not how it used to be. The, they're almost always chemtrailing the sunrise and the sunset because it's the glare is out of control. Wow, a massive change between when you were younger. You used to be able to get suntans before 9am, and now you can't. I never noticed that. But now you're saying that they're chemtrail to reduce the glare. I thought they were chemtrailing in order to either kill us, or sterilise us, or control us in some way. Now they're just doing it as some sort of sunshade, in a nefarious scheme to stop you getting early suntans. Weird. The rising sun and the setting sun didn't used to be so intense. Now it's crazy intense, and it's Isaiah prophecy. So now the Bible has prophecies about the times of day you can get suntans? Whatever next? Is there a chapter in the Bible when they talk about the pollen index? Isaiah chapter 30, verse 26. Moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun. And we already see that. The moon shines during the daytime all the time now. Didn't used to be like that. What are you talking about? Sometimes the moon is out in the daytime, and sometimes it isn't, as has ever been. That's what this means. What does it mean to shine like the sun? The sun is, it rules the day. So the fact that the moon is always in the daytime now, that's Isaiah prophecy fulfilled. Oh, is it now? So if we ever, ever see the moon at nighttime, or ever, ever see a daytime without a moon, you've just debunked the Bible. I'm continuing. And the light of the sun shall be sevenfold, as the light of seven days, in the day that the Lord bindeth up the breach of his people, and healeth the stroke of their wound. And I believe it's talking about the second coming of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. And I think we're there. I think the sun is so, so bright. That's why they do all the mass chemtrailing across the entire earth at this point. It's because the sun is brighter, and they also like to hide the moon at night. Um, isn't that a total logic fail? You just said the moon's always shining in the daytime and not at night. And now you're saying they're chemtrailing, including at night, to hide the moon. Why? According to you, it's always out in the daytime. A lot of times around full moon, they spray like crazy during the nighttime. Can't even see the moon. This is what NASA wants you to think the sun looks like. They get some picture like this, and then when you make the obvious assertion of, well, this is just Photoshop, somebody, it's an artistic rendition. Hans, nobody is claiming that's a photograph. It is an artistic rendition, just to give you some idea of how it looks. This is usually what the actual data looks like. So they take something that looks like this, and they turn it into this. Hans, the raw data shows a solar prominence. And so an artist has drawn a rendition of roughly what a solar prominence looks like. What's the big deal? 
Anyway, I want you to get onto these sunspots that prove NASA's lying. Come on. This is not what the sun looks like. They just put this... Oh, that's so fake. This is what they spend a lot of effort and energy doing. This is what what NASA actually does. There's not some satellite in outer space that's getting this image. I beg to differ. There is a satellite called SOHO, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. It's taken many images. It takes them in x-rays and all sorts of different uh, wavelengths to get different information. That information can be combined to produce film and images such as that you're showing. No, this is just completely computer generated. They're selling you a lie. So here, I'll just get to the point because this is the point of this video. Oh goody, get on with it Hans. We've been waiting ages. The easiest way that anybody can prove that everything that NASA is selling you is a bunch of BS is sunspots. This is not how sunspots work. Is that it? It's not how sunspots work. Surely, Hans, you have a little more than that. This is just a straight up bold faced lie. Whenever they present you a picture like this or a GIF or a video. It's a lie. Well, I'd say that that's a straight up bold ass assertion. You're going to need some evidence, just some. This is not how sunspots move across the sun. This is a lie, and it's there to, to make you think that the sun is a sphere that's rotating. No. The SOHO satellite cost around a billion dollars. Do you really think they spent that money so that they could fake images just to make us all believe that there are sunspots showing that the sun is rotating? Really? The sun and the moon do rotate? But think about the moon. We don't see a backside of the moon. The reason we see the same face of the moon is that it is tidally locked. So one orbit around the Earth is roughly one rotation. However, there are slight differences and we actually see more than just one face. Same with the sun. We don't. They both rotate like wheels through the sky. They don't rotate like this. This is a lie. Oh, is it a lie, Hans? Well, unfortunately... Here is some time-lapse photography of the moon as it goes through its cycle during the month. You can see it wobbling, and as it wobbles, libration, you can see more than the direct face of the moon. It's also very, very clear that it's a sphere. And what, do all the astronomy teachers out there, none of them have tried to observe sunspots themselves? Now that is one hell of an assertion to make. Hell, when I was a kid, I observed sunspots. There was a particularly large grouping of sunspots uh, at one time. It was in the 80s. And they could be seen with the naked eye. So at dawn, when there was heavy mist, you could actually see the spots. And yes, each day, I saw them move across the face of the sun. And or they know that it's lies and they are dumb, tranny deceivers. So they don't care. Oh, wow. So now you're accusing every teacher every science teacher who discusses sunspots, of being a liar. Lies. This is a lie. This is a lie. And you can see, look on this one how grainy it is, and you can see that they've added these rings to make it look spherical. No. So it's lies and lies. Well, I look forward, Hans, in a couple of minutes, when you present your evidence, I look forward to showing that either you are a liar yourself or just totally and utterly incompetent. The moon and the sun, they're not spheres, they're disks. And a lot of times you'll even see them talk about it that way because they slip in the truth sometimes. Fake, this is not how sunspots work. But this is what your textbooks will show you. This is what NASA will show you. And it's because they have to sell the lie of spherical things up there. Well, I think the only person talking spherical things is yourself. Please, use some more rope to hang yourself even more completely. They're not spheres. And this just made me feel really good. I was looking at some of these videos, and there are some awake people to this in the comments, but... When you say awake people, do you actually mean total arsehats who also don't know what they're talking about?
but I don't know why this isn't being shouted from the rooftops everywhere. Perhaps because other people have the decency to be embarrassed rather than spouting this crap. Because this is just one of the easiest ways that you can show that NASA feeds you a bunch of BS, just bold faced lies. And it's in every textbook out there. It's in any, any astronomical thing will pretend that sunspots move like this. Because sunspots move like that. But anyone can observe for themselves that that's not how they work. CGI. Good job, Muhammad. Sun moves like a wheel, not like this. Correct. Th these comments gave me hope. Well, they make me despair. But don't worry. We're going to put you out of our misery very shortly. This is a fake video, like NASA's fake videos. This is a lie. The sun doesn't rotate like a spinning ball. And this can be proven by yourself by observing the disc-like rotation of sunspots throughout a single day. And then you will know the truth. Now remember that. Observing the sunspots throughout a single day. There's these things called sun and planet gears. Look at the, the white or silver colored gear. That's what the sun does in the sky. That's what the moon does in the sky. It doesn't rotate like a ball. It rotates like a wheel. It's two dimensional spinning. It's not this third dimensional. Well, you got that wrong, Hans. They're called sun and planet gears because one of the gears actually goes around the other as opposed to two gears on fixed axles which are just rotating. You're just wrong about that. But let's leave that aside. Carry on with your sunspots. And I'm just going to end with this because this is what actually happens. If you observe a sun, so you need special filters. But if you observe sunspots throughout the day, this is what happens in reality when you're not living in NASA fantasy land. See how it's rotating? Well, my goodness, we can see a sunspot and over a few hours, we can see it rotating clockwise around the disk of the sun. Oh, who'd have thunk it? So we'll just watch it a few more times. It starts at the top and it's rotating around the, so it's rotating clockwise. This is how reality works. Unfortunately, Hans, you don't have the slightest understanding of reality. Sunspots rotate clockwise. And it's really, really hard to find this. This video only had a thousand views on it. Well, I assume that's because it's on another lame-ass conspiratard channel like yours. Um, I was friends with this person and they, they got all the filter. They had a P900. They got all the special filters and they started recording these videos of sunspots moving throughout the day. And it blew my mind because I could just see what it's not rotating the way that I've seen it throughout my whole life. And it, it's, they purposefully hide this information because it just destroys anything NASA. Everything out of NASA shows sunspots moving around in a fake way. Well, Hans, now's the time to show you the error of your ways. So Hans, let's see if we can explain this to you. Here is the Earth. It rotates at an angle of 23 and a half degrees. Here will be you, this dinky little camera. Hello, this dinky little camera and you will be the observer on the Earth. Let's start rotating. We can see my studio and we're rotating at 23 and a half degrees. Hopefully that will be enough. Let's try. Here it is again, full screen, just to make it that bit easier to see. Hopefully that will be enough. Let's try. This is a still right from the beginning of that clip and one from the end. You can see how everything has rotated. Look at the angle of that screen, the angle of the whiteboard, the way the, the square light in the top left corner has moved across. That is why the sunspots appear to go clockwise across the face. You have just proved the rotation of the Earth, you smeghead. And diagrammatically, here's a nice sun. Let's add a spot to it. This is 8 o'clock in the morning. We then observe it again at 10 o'clock and we see the spot has moved. And again at 12 o'clock, it's moved again. And once more, we take an observation 
at two o'clock and it's moved once more clockwise around the disc. So my incredulous little worm-hatted friend, this is all your pal has managed to film. He's picked up the rotation of the Earth because he's only been taking observations during one day. So as the hours pass, the apparent face of the Sun has rotated due to the rotation of the Earth, which is at an angle. So how do they produce these films with the sunspots going across the face of the Sun? Well, simple, me old China. You take an observation each day at the same time. At the poles, the Sun rotates around once every 30 days. At the equator, around every 24 days. On average, about 27 days. So depending on the latitude of the sunspot, it will move between approximately 12 and 15 degrees per day. You're not going to notice it a couple of hours later. But a day later, at the same time, you'll see that it's moved across. And in fact, as it gets closer to the <coughs> edge, you'll see it foreshorten as it goes around the curve. So once again, a flurf has done no research and has no idea of speed and scale. The spots take days to cross the face of the sun, so you have to take observations over several days and allow for the rotation of the Earth. So all the astronomy teachers out there show sunspots moving around in the fake way. We can observe this. And I encourage everybody to go observe this for themselves, to go find real footage. But um, I just wanted to make this video because... Because you're an idiot who doesn't understand anything and is happy for everybody to know it. This is just a surefire way to prove that NASA's BS. Sunspots rotate like a wheel across the sun. They do not move the way that NASA shows. Mr. Wormhat has made these ridiculous claims that... Sorry. I didn't call him that, did I? Oh, sorry. Mr. Arshat has made these ridiculous claims and made himself look like a total fool by employing full-on Dunning-Kruger effect. Hans, if you're going to publish a video, if you're going to call out all of NASA, if you're going to call all astronomers and all teachers that discuss it liars, then you better be right. Unfortunately, you're not. You're a typical silly flat earther who doesn't know what he's talking about until next time take care and stay sensible shut up and sit down